my, quite frankly, horrific small child! <laughs> <laughs> this gives me an idea. <laughs> Walk the plank into your lava route move! Move! Everyone, move! Fall and die! Especially the children! <laughs> I don't need you in blights, because you God, that was fun! That was fun! <laughs> I need a psychiatrist. Go home, Gast. You're drunk. Hello, My name is Rage, and welcome to the next episode of Fish Spider. Ah! Owner of the universe? No, but seriously, now that that tomfoolery of many proportions is over and... I'm on a ledge! I'm on a ledge! Take a good, hard look at the horrific pigman face. Awful. It's... and it's... and it's got a sl a sl Stop looking at me! I want to see your brain! Let... it's just... you've got kneecaps, there you go. And ribs and it's what it's fucking horrific. This texture pack is literally horrific. And talking about the texture pack, haha. <laughs> oh, bitch got skill. All right, all right, okay, it's cool. This time you got die, motherfucker. This time you piece of shit, you're dead. Yeah, I thought so. Hang on, do they even care about? You will never, ever, ever know what I was going to say at the end of that sentence. And I'm very, very sorry that you had to hear me even. Even say that song as a joke, I feel bad all over, excuse me, while I go take free showers. Okay, so, Epic Fish Spider, it, Minecraft is what I'm playing, yay, let's just, um, uh, Minecraft, use it as a medium to float round and speak nonsense, not actually accomplishing anything at any point. That is the Rage Gaming philosophy, and that is how it will stay, yay! Oh, they, they rhymed, because... Cause it's cool, and that's the lava flowing down a down a down a thing. In the, in the doo -doo -doo. this this block's not good enough for the lava, though. However, if I was to do that, nothing nothing changed. But at least it looks a little bit a little bit less less stupid. Why am I even over here? Let's let's go. Oh god, yeah, that was yes things. Okay, so I bet. Okay, oh. <laughs> I'll be a to a sick little man, yeah. Huh? Is is. You don't even understand that. What, what What's wrong with you guys? Why would you not even understand those very simple words that I'm saying at you? And I don't know why this has suddenly gone back from metal to wood. But I do know why it is. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the texture pack that I'm using for Fish Spider Industries, sir. Uh, what is with just this random survivors? There will be zero people left alive at the end of this escapade. I will see how you interact with lava. But you can see they look all cool now with a little fish spider logo on the uniforms and it all looks kind of cool. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, the fish spider industry's texture pack has been updated thanks to Deathly Cell. I realize you asked me to call you Lisa, but I prefer saying Deathly Cell because it amuses me because I can't really say it properly. So there we go, Deathly Cell. And you will notice that Iron Stone now looks like piping. Look at this piping. Very nice piping. Perfect piping. Get it. Get it. Per positively perfect piping. P -p 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 <laughs> I don't know why, but the is is really nice. And I'm just being chilled, and it's it's <laughs> okay. So continuing on, continuing on with I don't know what happened there either, but it's cool. Continuing on with the brand new texture pack theme, there are various updates like lapis lazuli looking all cool and usable now. Look at that! It's like just like a block of just oh. Oh, but by far the best thing in this new texture pack that I'll be using everywhere. Also, the redstone has been updated, so there's now elevators where there wasn't elevators and the secret engines has been fixed. And, you know, it's all looking good. It's our gun under the hood. But, yes, this not dispenser. That's complete. Whoa. Music disc that's completely shattered. That's interesting. I'm kidding. I don't really care, care at all. Enchanting table. Look at the enchanting table, da 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 da. All right, so we've got the enchanting table. It doesn't look particularly. I mean, it's cool, yes, but look if we go up to it. Ah, oh, fish spiders in the books, and it scrolls through the fish spiders. Yeah, how cool is that? That's awesome. All right, so why is the pigmen all up in here? I don't want there to be pigmen all up in here. What are they doing all up in here? All right, so we need to build the laboratoire in the uh, le nether netherman netherman nether place that I am in. So, yeah, there we, there we go. In fact, you know what? How easy would it be to do a Minecraft parody of never Taylor Swift's song of never, ever, ever, just using never? I will never, never, various. Be right back, writing a parody. No. Okay, so, 
We want that. We definitely wanted chatting tables. And I've tempted to use the brand new blocks as a sort of experimental holding facilities. Where's Emerald as well? Emerald, you got this. You got this, Emerald. I believe. Oh, wait, no, Emerald's like that. Derp. But there is a third one. Oh, yeah, gold. That's the third one. I knew there was a third one. See, I know of things. Is that a boots? They don't like boots. They look like devil eyes and death. They look like devil eyes and death. That is. That's how I roll. Okay, so. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just winging this because they look. Pigman, what are you doing? Come on, go! Oh, oh, yeah. I forget how that makes them. Oh, what guys? I'm in, I'm an immortal god of god of death. What are you? What's your plans here? Just look at me to death? I mean, come on. Okay, okay. I get that you want a holy revenge, but that's not going to work. All right. I'm going to get a splash potion of harming. Okay, and I'm going to throw it at you gonna do absolutely nothing. Should have really remembered that from the last time. Fine, I'm gonna get a diamond sword and I'm going to make you that's the gold block and I'm going to make you all my bitches. So that's what you get. I hope you're happy now that you just tried to stare me to death, you stupid, stupid people of of pig pig varieties. Alright. You are nearly as bad as Timothy. That's how bad you are, pig man. And not go on, jump at me. Go on, jump at me, mate. Come on, come on, jump oh wait though, it's not high enough for a jump. Okay, fine, I'll just kill you the old fashioned way. I'm I'm not I'm not choosy. I kill people however I want to kill people. Okay. Guns don't kill no wait. People don't I don't no, I've forgotten the completely forgotten the lyrics. That's uh Guns don't kill people. I kill people with guns. There we go. There, there we go. So if that makes like that, and then that goes like that. Is that? No, that's that was that was dumb. There we go. Figaro Samantha Gio. And then that goes like that, and then gold going like that. I don't know why, but this is making a cool-looking sort of wall. And it just keeps going like that in diagonal, and I like it. I like it very much. This is going to be the backdrop for the laboratoire. Because it's only a small laboratoire. It's very, very expensive and completely irrational. I, I don't even know why we're doing it. Why would Fish Spider Industries want to advance into the nether? There is nothing in this place that's even slightly to do with spiders, yet for some reason, the stupid boss... Wait, that's me. The amazing boss was like, I know everybody, what would be a really good idea is if that we uh, make an expansion into the nether and then do the same experiments that we're, that we're doing not in the nether, but in the nether where everyone's in really, you know, a lot of danger from being killed and stuff like that. So let's do that. That'll be really good fun. I mean, we've got the funding for it. It's not like we're in an apocalypse world or anything like that. I'm sure it'll be great. Awesome. Good fun times for everyone involved. Yay! Just why did he do that? What what the hell was running through his mind? I just... I just don't know anymore. It's like it's like he's lost interest in the true vision of fish spider industries and has gone from genuinely caring about people and wanting to solve the fish spider crisis to just being a general evil bastard and it's 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 very sad. It's very very sad and, and by sad I mean ha <laughs> ha not true at all. He was always an evil bastard. Everybody knows that. Okay. Okay, okay. Why did I build this magically multicolored amazing wall of amazing? I don't even know. Okay, okay, so now that we have developed two high walls... Those walls are too damn high! No, they're not really. I might jump cut them too. I mean, psychic power them to... Whoa, that was, that was nearly a major fuck up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now that we've got walls, I really don't know where I'm going with this episode. It's really, really weird. All I'm doing is just like, yay, multicolored walls. Multicolored walls are fun. Let's keep making them. Yay! Alright, so we're going to cut off the laboratory area, so at least we know what we're working with. Show us what you're working with. No, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I mean, I, I know what's generally wrong with me, but I mean specifically <laughs> Ah, uh, self-insulting. It's the way to go! Alright, give me a sign. Alright, 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 give me a sign! No, okay, fine, fine, fuck you. So, I really didn't expect anything. I'll be honest. Alright, so that's gonna be... In fact, no, 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 okay. Only enter if... If... No, wait. You enter if... You want... Okay, cool. So that'll, that'll be the laboratory area. So we're going to have these various books. That's going to attach. Oh, it doesn't attach. Sweet! So this is going to be every now and then because the nether is going to be a place of great knowledge. 
and a reservoir of research for everyone to use that's going to be beautiful and glorious at the same time, and everyone's going to be so happy and... and oh, it's adorable. Okay, so cauldron... Damn it, why can't I spell coal? Coal... Cauldron... Coal... Cauldron... Fuck's sake! Just, just find it, just find it. I can't, I can't English. I cannot English, and it's not my fault. I was brought up right in a left... I was brought up right in a left. What was that? What the hell was that mean? I've also been told something very interesting by a lot of very interesting people. That's you guys. You guys are very interesting. See what I did there? I see what I did there. What an anvil. I just typed in anvil because, you know, I felt like an anvil. You know those days where you wake up and you just... You just... You feel like an anvil and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you feel like you're just being hit repeatedly by a hammer, melted down, maybe soaked in water and it's just it's a weird feeling I'm not gonna lie crafting table that is also what I am after and then finally the last one what is the last one oven oven so furnace there we have it we've got all the laboratory equipment that we normally use for laboratories except now it's cool and this is going to be pathways to each to a different fish spider and closing cell this area this is not going to be that but this area is these areas are so we'll make that into tunnel we will do tunnel later on but for now so now I'm going to keep offending everybody with my not actually from anywhere accent and yeah have fun all around that one doesn't need kind of did that like super super accidentally deliberately you know one of those like, super accidentally deliberately where you're like should I do this should I do this all the while making progress towards actually doing it but then once you get to it you're like oh no I regret this decision but it's too late at that point because you've regretted the decision so all you need to really do is just stick with it and pretend like you wanted to do that all along which is what I just did there so it's fantastic but the best thing to do in that situation is when you go to water packs now I think water packs water 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 I think water packs are one of the funnest one of the funnest things. Oh, guys, guys, look. If you hold shift and right click, right, it doesn't activate the thing. Because that's the thing that you guys taught me. It was, it was so nice of you. But yes, water packs are fantastic. It's just when you go, like, you queue up for a ride, you're like, yeah, hell yeah, this ride's going to be, oh, oh, that's cool. So you got, like, a workbench with the ovens telling you how to do everything. And we also need flower pot, 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 flower pot, pot. If you could take, wow, if someone took that out of context and was like, pot, pot, no, that's, uh, let's not do that, let's not go there. I'm watching you people, alright, and I do, I don't freaking mean you people this time. I'm not even going to beat around the bush, or bush around the beat. Any other things to do with that, you don't even know. There we go, we'll put another one there, get a dispenser on, dispenser, dispenser, okay. Alright, so the water pack example, you're queuing up for a ride, and you get to the top and you realise, hang on, I regret this decision because you've seen the ride happen. Now, the best thing to do is to pretend all the time that you were actually completely fine with this and just go for it anyway. Now, the interesting thing about this is the story that I'm building up to is that two, three years ago was the last family holiday that I went on and we queued up for this ride that was basically a vertical drop into a big sort of U-shaped bowl that you go up and down and it was great fun. Don't get me wrong, I, I queue up for everything. I love every theme park ride, every water park ride. But the person I was queuing with was my uh, little brother, and my mother, because, you know, it was a family holiday. So we got to the top of the thing, and my little brother's like, Oh, hell no, Josh! Obviously, he didn't, um, I didn't, obviously, he didn't actually, I'd be very worried if my eight-year-old brother, at that time, six, but like, I don't even know why a six-year-old was queuing up for a ride that required a higher height than him. I don't even know how I got on the queue. In fact, this whole story is just now a mystery to me. But yeah, he was like, nope. So, he started going back down. And my mom got in the, you know, it was one of those things where you uh, have to go on a float, floating-type ring in order to properly go down the ride. So my mum got in the ring, and she was like, hang on a minute, this is a little bit. So she was about to do the whole chickening out at the point of you're about to go down the slide. Now, Spanish, I don't know if anyone knows this, but Spanish lifeguards at water parks don't give a fuck. They literally give zero of them, which is quite impressive, since it's quite hard to give zero of them. So what the lifeguard was did is the second she started having doubts went, I know what will work really well is if I just push push her down the whole slide and that'll be completely fine. And and she did. The lifeguard was just like, ha ha, I'ma be a bitch and push pushed her down the slide. Now, that was fine and all. It's just, as she was in the process of getting back out the ring, the sudden movement of then being flung down a vertical drop like completely damaged uh, her back. So, well, she's fine now. It only lasted a couple days. But, it, you know, apart from me being like, ha 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 ha
It was, it was uh, certainly, certainly interesting. I didn't let that drop for a long while, I'm not going to lie. It was quite fun. Quite, quite fun for every... Fun for all of the family. And when I say all of the family, I mean literally just me. Everyone else was like, are you alright? And I was like, hi, your face! And consequently, no one spoke to me for, a, for like the rest of the day on the holiday, which was also awkward. But then, then again, you've got a way that against the joy of being able to laugh so much at someone. And, you know, I, came, I have come to the conclusion since that completely worth it. Yeah, so there you go. There's a quick water pack story for everyone. Yay! Awesome. And now we've even got a cool roof on this bitch. I just, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I really like how this is looking. I just, I just do. I don't even know how long this episode is. It's just fun for everyone. Okay, okay. So now that the most tenuously constructed water pack story of connectoring has been done, seriously, how did I get from, from you just have to go with it if you end up doing something that you didn't really want to do, to the really, you know, to Spanish, to Spanish lifeguards at water parks giving zero. I don't know how I managed to make those connections, but then again, it's a talent. It really, really is. So you know, ah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, whenever I remember something, silly noises are made. But you know how I really have made, like, nothing. Oh, God! That was actually terrifying. Okay. Okay, it's fine, though. Hey, big man. Hey, big man. How are you? How... Oh, you're gone. Oh, no, you're behind me. Please leave. Please just get out of my face, pig man. Come on. Fine. You want to play it like this, do you? Come on, then. Go wow. That's you got some dexterity on you there, pig man. There you go. There, there you go. Die. Die. Bye-bye. Stupid. Oh, God, the irony if I was not in survival mode, creative mode there. Ah. So, you know, guys, a while ago, how I was all, like, making up these joking t-shirts. Like, Timothy doesn't get the bitches. There was also awkward for everyone involved. And various other things. Well, after going to America, which was amazing, by the way, as I'm sure you've heard from it. Stop fighting me, pig men. You're making building very, very awkward. But yeah, after going to America and seeing all... Just, just give me a second, okay? Give me a fracking second. Die! Good, good. See, you see how I psychically one-shot it? <laughs> <laughs> so after going to America and seeing all these various YouTubers wearing their own custom uh, t-shirts, I was like, you know, I kind of want my own custom t-shirt now. So what I did is I got someone to design my own t-shirts, just, just bear in mind, so I could get one and I could wear it. Now, the, re the reason I'm bringing this up is it's a quite a funny start. Well, it's not really a funny story. Oh, go away. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're just... Ah, <sighs> leave me alone, please. What have I ever done to you apart from murder lots and lots of your friends? That's not even that bad. You guys realize that you're evil bastards? I'm just helping out the population while killing you all. So, oh, God! Oh! Just, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, okay, good. So, the designer, I kept uh, posting his designs to my Facebook and Twitters, which you should totally, uh, totally get, get sorted on, and asking people their opinion on the design so far to see how they liked it, you know, just because I really wanted a perfect... GOD! Just because I really wanted a perfect design. So, I got to the end what I consider a really, really cool design. I have a Rage Gaming absolutely flawless, and a Rage Gaming awkward forever involved, and then also a Rage Gaming medley, which is like an R with loads... The it's, a, it's an R, but the R is made up of loads of different text saying various things that I say, which are all really cool, and it, it came off really well. So obviously I got myself one of each of these t-shirts, and I was like, cool, done, thanks everybody for your input, I've got some t-shirts now. But then loads of people were like, hang on, you mean you're not going to sell them? And I was like, well, I don't... I've always said I never really liked the idea of actually selling t-shirts it didn't really make sense but I kind of in order to set in order to get myself one I had to go to a hundred percent of the lengths I would have to go to sell them publicly as in sign up to a website get my designs hosted on it they're literally available to physically buy to anyone because that's how they had to be in order for me to buy them so I suppose it's it's not really fair of me just because of my own principles to be like, you guys, you're not allowed to buy any of the t-shirts that I've got, they're just for me, haha, <laughs> because while I never wanted to sell t-shirts because I think it's quite silly, I, I also understand why people might want 
to have a t-shirt if you get me because you know it's it's kind of cool you don't buy a youtuber's t-shirt because you want to show it to other people you buy it because you like them and you think you want to wear something that they've created and it's all cool like that and i get that so i thought it was kind of a bad like a dick move of me to be like no well, you guys who all let me design this and everything no you're not you're not allowed to have any they're only for me <laughs> so what i did is i relented eventually and decided to make them available for purchase so the reason I'm telling you guys is because, obviously, you know, I'm not just going to tell the few thousand people on Twitter, because that, again, would be a little bit one-sided. Just a few elite members of Rage Gaming are allowed the t-shirts. No. But I've made them literally as cheap as I can, because, again, I... I just basically you've just got to pay the, what the website needs to be paid in order to get them made. I don't really want to make loads of money off this because it doesn't make sense, as I've said. So they are as cheap as I can. But yes, in the description is the place where you can get them, just in case you want them. By no means feel pressure to get them, okay? I really just... Just, they're there because it doesn't make sense for them not to be there, seeing as the lengths I went to just to get them for myself, basically. So yeah, have a look at the design, see if you like any. And pretty much that's it. That's all I've got to say for you, okay? There's going to be more that I'm going to be making because I've kind of got the bug of making cool t-shirts now and it's, uh, yeah. So, basically, the one's now a bit oh, only text-based because I want an artist because I want to do t-shirts along the lines of someone drawing, like, this really pathetic-looking person on their knees with a t wearing a t-shirt that says Timothy, surrounded by four people holding various forms of weaponry and looking very angry at him because I think that would be, um... <laughs> and it just says Timothy at the top and doesn't get the bitches at the bottom. Now, that would be fantastic. You know, things like that. Things that just w amuse me basically, and it's a side effect that you guys can also get them. So yeah, if you're interested, they will be linked in the descriptions of videos, and that is all I'm going to say about them. I might occasionally say if there's a new design, but that's really it. I don't want to constantly go on about them, because, you know, as of reasons. Talking of constantly going on about them, approaches a subject he doesn't really want to talk about and only wants to talk about for a little while. Takes five minutes to do it. Fuck my life! Ah, man, man, man! I don't know why I felt like doing that. Just, just, I just, I just, I don't know, okay? I'm lost and no way home. I don't know why I'm building these pathways either. I don't know why I did this during description of t-shirts. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what these are for, but I just built pathways. What is wrong with me? I, I just, I'm, I'm psychopathic. That doesn't, it was supposed to be psychotic, but psychopathic building up to a really clever pun, but in the end it kind of just failed because it really didn't even sound like anything. It was just, uh... Ah, uh, ah, uh, man. I just guess that I'm a psychopath. <laughs> okay, everybody. That'll do for today. We'll finish the nether tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. No. Don't get your hopes up. Okay. Next Tuesday, as is the case, we'll finish the nether, and then I don't really know what's left to do in the facility. We'll have to go up with something. Unless I just declare it finished and move on to stage two, which would also be stage two emitters. I'll move on to stage two, which would be quite cool. And if you don't get where that was from right then, you're a disgrace to me, and can you please uh, go away? But yes, my name has been Ray. Remember to like, favorite, share. I will see you all next time. Good, good. Mission accomplished today. Built some random crap walls, put a few blocks down, had a lot of random fun. You know, generally, generally your classic, classic Rare Rage video. So yeah, everything, everything is wonderful. My name has been Rage, I will see you all next time. A good boy. Random episode for the win. And by that I mean more random than normal. And I'm randomly extending the app. I don't know why I'm doing that, so goodbye. on fire Minecraft gotta do anything you want to English failure like and subscribe I can fly